Welcome to USG 2021. Welcome researcher. Today I am explaining my paper on optimal and power efficient single mobile deployment for downlink coverage in UAV. Myself Jitendra Joshi along with the Tanushi Tanmay, Tumane and Yash Patavri and Mohammad Arulak we have worked on this project. Now basic introduction the unmanned aerial vehicle can be used for the as a flying base station so that the significantly you can increase the capacity and coverage of the existing wireless network now the the line of sight are the key feature of the uav that has to be improved and the coverage and rate enhancement has to be done now due to the existence of the path loss in the shadowing the characteristic of the air to ground channel varies and it all depends on the altitude of the aerial base station now by applying the disk covering problem as stated in the reference paper we find the minimum number of stop points where the uav needs to cover the area then in the reference paper to the author presents an analytical approach to optimize the altitude of the platform so to provide the maximum radio coverage to the ground in the third the author emphasizes the energy efficient issues for the uav and the power requirement for the uav system in reference four the author also focuses on the energy efficient problem in order to detect and follow the mobile events now from these the problem statement states that we have to design a strategy using pid stabilization technique for a single mobile uav in order to exploit the disk covering problem with the minimum number of stop points in order to have the minimum number of power to be transmitted using the facility location problem to determine the optimum location of the uav in the given cell boundary for this we use our approach for the single uav uav strategy so we use this algorithm where we use the pid stabilization getting the input from the various sensors and the accelerometer sensor which is attached to the uav then we find to minimize the error by using the appropriate value of kp ki and kd in the pid controller next we use the algorithm second that is a maximum coverage using the minimal power and then the suitable stop points are used using the appropriate value of the radius of the then the determine the minimum radius of the uav for rc and selected m using the disk covering problem then at the last we determine the optimum location of the uav for minimum transmit power now these are some of the results which we have done for stabilization of the pid firstly we stabilize the drone using the pid controller the pid works on the error in the system it defined uses the differences in the desired state and the current state and send that signal to the motors for the stabilization secondly the control loop which processes the data received from ahrs and then measures the altitude and input from the rc receiver next the signal are filtered to remove the noise produced mostly by the aircraft vibration after the signal filtration the pid output are to be computed in the given graph we can see that the various kp ki kd value will help me help in the removing of the steady state error these are some of the result images in the real test bed in the nit university where we have tested this stabilization of the pid and this is the result which we have obtained using the uav altitude and the average transmit power the impact of the altitude on the transmit power we can see in this graph as we know that we conclude that the increasing height in the path loss impacts the connectivity and therefore the minimum required transmit power is also increased next the conclusion the study was conducted to explore the different control strategies that is to be implemented to facilitate the more versatile approach to quadcopter control now the research demonstrate the fine tuning of the control by a conventional pid controller for stabilization and the disturbance rejection of the quadcopter the response time simulation is already shown in the result in the future we will focus on the implementing the given strategy of stabilization along with the power efficient approach of maximum coverage using disk covering problem and facility location problem these are the references paper these four papers we have stated out in this presentation thank you